Welcome to the Hall of History. Have you been to the Hall of History before? Yes. yes. Well, thank you for coming to and visiting us today. The Hall of History is a very unique building. It was designed by Father Flanagan and built in 1939. And this is where the boys would eat their meals three times a day. So you can imagine 400 boys in this building eating every day, a very heavily used building. 1975, we went to our family home program. At that time, this building was closed. And in 1986, Mr. Henry Hess from Chicago left his estate to Boys Town, and this museum was created. And as you walk through all the photographs, the documents, artifacts, this is all part of our permanent collection. And we always start here with these headlines in the ceiling. These were collected by Father Flanagan from newspapers all across the United States. They show the conditions children were living in back in 1917 when he founded Boys Town. And if you look at those situations, they're very similar to what's going on today. But back then, there were not the support systems like we have today. Children, if they got in trouble, were put into uh, reform, reform schools, or they were put into orphanages, or just left on the streets. All alternatives that really didn't work for these children. When Father Flang came forward with his radical program, he changed the way children were treated across America. And the headlines to the left, these were scenes taken in New York City Hell's Kitchen. They show the scenes Father Flang witnessed when he would work in the hospitals of Hell's Kitchen, working with fellow immigrants in the hospice programs at the hospitals there. And then we have images on the bottom right. These were taken here in Omaha. And those, those are the homeless kids he started working with back in 1917. There were kids who lived in downtown Omaha. Some have families, some didn't have families, but they're basically homeless. They get together, they go through the streets of the city, rob people, cause trouble. And those are the children Father Flying started working with back in 1917. And then if we step over a little bit, we can see some headlines of Father Flanagan's work and his radical concepts and theories. In the Hall of History, we have these mannequins scattered throughout the museum. These were created 30 years ago. All the boy mannequins were actually residents of the home. You can go through and you can see them. They're preserved here. The boys actually come back 30 years later and they bring their families and they can see themselves here. Father Flanagan's nephew, Larry, posed for his mannequin. And behind it, these are headlines of all the different projects Father Flanagan worked on in his revolutionary concepts. When he first came forward in 1917 with his program, everyone laughed at him. They said he would never succeed. He was fighting the theory of eugenics, which is a horrible concept that would label children due to the race or the religion. So President Roosevelt eventually said America needed 49 more Father Flanagans. His concept of giving children a home, a spiritual life, a trade, was very revolutionary and proving very successful. You can also see the headline, Lad Dumped at Boys Town. These are boys that show up in downtown Omaha. They'd have little signs around their neck saying, please make sure this boy gets out to Boys Town. And we still have children who come to the village that way today. They'll either walk into the village or someone will come drop them off. We also have the special uh, headline, Rocky Mountain News, where Father Flying went and saved a young man who was on trial for murder who was going to be executed. He saved that young man, brought him back here to the village of Boys Town. And within his life, he brought 100 boys to live here in the village of Boys Town who had committed murder. He said, you must give children an opportunity to change their lives. And Father Flanagan's program proved very successful for all children. When Father Flanagan first came to Omaha at the turn of the century, his first parish was St. Patrick's in South Omaha. It was a working class parish, a lot of working men who worked in the meat packing plants. But one day he noticed in front of the church these homeless men, they were sitting on the streets. So he went out and spoke to them saying, why are you living this way on the streets? And he found out these were working poor. These were men who could not make enough money to rent a decent place to live. So Father Flanagan said, I'm going to help these men. So he began to give them money to help them buy groceries, but that really wasn't succeeding. Well, he got uh, together and worked with the St. Vincent de Paul Society in the city of Omaha, and he opened what was called Working Men's Hotels. And he had three of these Working Men's Hotel. The men could come there. He had an employment agency. They could get a good meal, have a health care component. But he soon discovered that these men that were coming were beginning to change, especially as he got in uh, after a year or two. The type of men that began to arrive had drug and alcohol problems or psychological problems. They really didn't want his help. They just wanted some place to flop. So Father Flying had decided he wasn't working at the right, right end of the spectrum. He needed to start working with boys because he did a case study of 2,000 of these men that were in the shelter. And every one of these men said when their families were young, they broke up and there was no one for them and they ended up on the streets alone with no one. So he decided, I need to start working with children. So he went to the courthouse in downtown Omaha, sat in a juvenile court and witnessed what happened. He saw when babies came in and infants, an orphanage would come take them away. When a young lady came in, someone would say, I need a cook or a maid and take them away. But when these preteen boys or teenage boys came in, there was no one there for them. So he said, I'm going to be an advocate for the children nobody wanted. And that's when he began his theory and concepts to create Boys Town. Father Flanagan's first home was soon overwhelmed. He had about 70 boys there in a span of just a few weeks, so he needed a larger facility. So what he did was, he, after a month or two, he moved to the old German-American home 
down on 13th Street here in Omaha. It had closed during World War I due to anti-German feelings, and they rented it to Father Flanagan very cheaply. He loved the building. It was large. There was a couple acres around it. Someone donated a cow. Someone donated some chickens. So it was really uh, had a little farm operation going, and the boys liked it. They had some place they could go outside and play. But the problem was it was in the city, and it was rented property. And after a couple of years, the German American Society came and said, we want to reopen our headquarters. So we had to look for a new home. But everywhere he went throughout the city of Omaha to buy land, nobody wanted him because he had all these different children, different races and religions living together. Nobody wanted them in their neighborhood. So Father Flanagan decided, I'm going to move west and I'm going to create a special village just for children. And that's when he moved uh, to 144th and Dodge Street and created a city of little men.